In this video, we're going to go over how you can use one login. One login is what you're going to use to access all of the applications on campus with just one password. If you are a staff member watching this video, please note that this password is not going to be used for CARS or for CX. To get started, open up your browser window and type in wagner.onelogin.com. It's going to ask you to enter in your username or your email, so I'm going to enter that now. And then you're going to press continue. Then it's going to ask you to enter in your one login password, which you'll do here. Press continue. Once the page loads, you'll see your one login dashboard. This is going to be all of the applications that you are able to access with these credentials. So the first thing you're going to see is your frequents, which are going to be the applications that you use the most. And so mine are going to look different than what you are going to see, but it all works the same. If you don't see the app that you're looking for that you'd like to access, click on Apps Everything, and you'll be able to see every single app that you have that is accessible with one login. So if I were to click on Moodle, I could then access Moodle without having to go to moodle.wagner.edu or go through the website, and it would just allow me to get into Moodle that way. And that goes for all of these other applications as well. There are a few other things you'll want to know about one login, and those things are going to be accessible from your profile in the upper right hand corner. The first thing you'll want to make sure you do under profile is enter in your phone number in the box here. The next thing you'll want to know here under change password is what you would do if you need to change your password from your current password to something new. Now, in this case, this is not where you would go if you forgot your password. You're going to need to know your current password and you're going to be able to change it from here. So you put your current password in here, your new password in here, and you'll have to make sure you follow those security requirements. If you don't follow the security requirements here, it will not let you click update password. If you do forget your password, it's important to set up your security factors. This way you're able to reset your password without having to go to the help desk in order to do it. So if you click on security factors, you can click add factor, and then you're going to click one login SMS. It's going to take the phone number that you put in before and send a confirmation code to that number. You'll enter the confirmation code that you get from your phone here and press continue. Once you've done that, you'll get a message letting you know you've successfully registered your device. And now, if you forget your password, you can use that information to reset it. So if I log out of one login here, and I put in my username, and then I click forgot password, it's going to ask me to re-enter my username once more and press continue. And then it's going to ask me what I want to select for an authentication factor. So I'm going to choose one login SMS, and then it's going to send a code to my phone that I'm going to put in here in order for me to change my password. Once the code is put in there, you're going to press continue. And then it's going to take you to the password reset page where you can put in a new password following these requirements. Once you fill all these requirements, you'll be allowed to press submit. As you can see, all of my requirements are filled and then I can press submit and it will change my password according to what I put in there.